Good morning. This is June the seventh. What a glorious day it is. We're in Jude. We're still in the book of Jude in the ninth verse, where Michael the great archangel was disputing with Mo, with with Satan over the body of Moses, but he declared not to do a railing announcement to Satan. But he did say, "The Lord rebuke you." Today is a teaching lesson, and as you've jumped up today and you're feeling very feisty and and you're just full of fleas, and you're ready to jump out and meet the day and do the things that you're doing, you know, and you're, you've heard someone teach, you know, I command you, Satan, to go into the bowels of the earth and do these things. Let me tell you something. Let me help you just a little in your spiritual walk with the Lord. If Michael, the great archangel, who is disputing with, with Satan over the body of Moses, says, the Lord rebuke you, maybe you and I might learn something here. He's telling us, that in the name of the Lord, we have the power to rebuke Satan by the blood of Jesus and by the authority that we are his believers. Now let me give you another classic example of this. A lot of people will go and pray for someone and they will want to lay hands on them and they will get loud and they start commanding the devils to go into the abyss and all these spirits to go somewhere. But let me tell you something. Go read Acts, the 19th chapter, where the Apostle Paul is teaching. He says, the seven sons of Siva were down there and they went around and they were going to cast this, this demonic activity out of this man. And, and the next thing you know, this, this man, those devils in them rose up in this man and just sent those seven guys out naked and beat up and banged up. And, and they were trying to do this. You know, if you haven't spent time with Jesus and you haven't spent time praying in the Holy Spirit, it is going to be real difficult for you or me or anyone else to be casting out devils because the Bible says that we are to cast out devils. The Bible says we are to set the de deliverance to the captives. The Bible says that we're to save others. The Bible says what we're about to do. But if you haven't been with Jesus and you haven't spent time in prayer and you're not full of God's Word and you don't have the understanding to know what power and what authority that Jesus gave you in Matthew 28 and in Mark 16, because it says in Mark 16 you will cast out devils, and so we do that. Well, how do we do that? We do that by speaking the blood of Jesus in the situation. We, another way we do is we say, I am a blood-bought, born child, a son of God, and I have the authority in Christ Jesus' name to command you alcohol, you spirit of alcohol, you spirit of nicotine, you spirit of whorism, you spirit of adultery, you spirit of, of uh, uh, homosexuality, you spirit of lying, you spirit of all kinds of... Demonic, I command you to leave this person and never to return. Go back and read the Gospels. Look and see what Jesus said. When a de demonic person came up, like the Gazarene demoniac came up, and he spoke to Jesus because they recognized him, they will recognize you. Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. But who are you, dude? Well, I'll tell you who I am. I'm a son of the Most High God, and so are you when you've spent time and you're in the Word. And he told him, he said, who are you? He says, we're legion. There's many of us. And he says, will you cast us into the abyss before time? Notice that Jesus didn't. Notice that Jesus says, you can go into those swine over there. And they did and ran off the cliff and were drowned. Notice what Jesus did. Go other places. When Jesus was dealing with something was demonic, notice what he did. He is our example. Let him show you the way. Do not get caught up and get boxed around and beat up by what you're trying when you're trying to do something for the Lord. Be open to the Spirit of God. Be listening to the Spirit of God. Be filled up with the Spirit of God. Be filled up with the love of Jesus. Be walking with what He wants you to do. May this teaching today open your spiritual eyes to your activity for the Lord, and may you be blessed in it. In Jesus' name, amen.